know, we all want to protect uh, kids from injury, obviously. But how far is going too far? That's the question that is facing Weber Middle School on Long Island, New York. Apparently, they have banned balls. We're talking footballs, baseballs, soccer balls, lacrosse balls, and any other equipment that could harm a child. And they've even said that cartwheels and rough games of tag would re require supervision from a coach. Soft Nerf balls, however, would be allowed. Kelly Wallace is here to discuss this with us, uh, and she's been watching some of the response online. It seems to me that you probably got a lot of feedback from both sides uh -huh. of, of the issue. Is this throwing the baby out with the bathwater, though? Yeah, and, and I, if you guys could guess, which side do you think we heard more from who said that this is ridiculous? We heard stupid. We heard crazy. We heard, you know, so many parents say that our kids are so structured these days. They get so little time to just play, play. Yeah. to just be. We have an obesity crisis in this country. This is the the wrong way to go. On the flip side, there were people who said, you know, injuries are injuries, and, and an injury, a head injury, could be serious. And there's also concerns about liability for the school. So we did hear from some people on the other side who said that, you know, there's. You some need to say that part twice, though, <laughs> because that's what's really driving this on the school side is liability. Fair. Well, Fair well point? yeah. I mean, the superintendent in a local interview, she said that these injuries can be unintentional, but then they can get to be very serious. The school, we should note, has issued a press release, I think in part to kind of clarify on its part, saying mm -hmm. that there is construction going on at the school, so there's a, a more limited area where the kids are playing, and if kids are in close proximity to each other, having hard balls being thrown or rough games of tag is not the way to go. So they're trying to say it's it's temporary. At some point in the school year, it will be lifted, but it's people happening are still in too reacting. Many places. This one school, maybe that's their explanation, but this is happening. It's, it's happening in schools. They're reducing, down what they yeah, do. because of liability concerns, because they so, get sued a lot. Is there making? such an increase in injuries at schools? That's what I can say. Yeah, right, that's the question, because I had said to say, someone needs to tell me that from when many, many years ago, when I was a kid playing around on, you know, we had concrete on the yes, playground. We goodness. didn't have the rubber foam. And sticks. And right. all the play sets had rusty, right. rusty bolts and nails. Right. Yeah. I mean, has there been that dramatic of an increase? You do see numbers, more increases in injuries in terms of overall sports-related injuries, but how much of that is because more of our kids are playing more sports kids at younger and younger ages. Kids are getting bigger, and maybe that's just a question of you know better equipment or better coaching, but not necessarily restricting the this play. This is the part that makes me crazy. Isn't the job of adults, whether it's parents or teachers, what have you, is to teach kids how to do things appropriately? To you know, one of the things about when you fall is they teach you to get right back up and brush yourself off to avoid those things that bring you pain. It seems to me that just making a swipe, you know, you're not going to have any balls. Same answer to that. With. You know, you know, subject to what you say, Kel, mm -hmm. but the litigation, liability. Come Teachers on. teach Come less. On. They stay out of behavior. That's why bullying is so hard to so control. Far. They don't want to coach the kids on the playground in case the kid gets hurt. They're going to get sued. You hear so it. Then, School districts all across the country. This is happening in Port crazy. Washington. It's a great community. Yeah, and it is, I think, a huge point. And I think maybe what we're starting to see is sort of a shift because I think parents are saying, right, enough is enough. Right, This is crazy because we need our kids, just as you said, Michaela, we need them to learn. Learn yeah. how to negotiate conflict resolution. Yeah, you, get, you get hurt. You get back up. Mm -hmm. um, we all did that, and we turned we out turned pretty out okay. well. So 